Hello, my name is Sergey. I'm representative of Ukrainian culture living in Scotland. Uh, I'm a firm believer that one must give as much as take, and I've decided to make a channel for everybody who's interested in welding. I hope it will be useful. There'll be no tons of videos or regular weekly uploads here, just videos on a subject that I consider worth sharing with other people. Videos are not about right or wrong. There'll be uh, they're just a way to share what I whatever works for me. All videos are in my version of English and in Ukrainian language. So if you subscribe, be aware that you may have a delay between there'll be maybe delay between uploads in different language versions of the same video. I do not really buy into concept of prestige, superiority, or supremacy in the welding work, and I'm grateful for every single job that gets through the door. The very first video I decided to make is about weld cup uh, welding screen made by Optrel. As you can see, this is not a brand new screen. I had it for about two years, and uh, I primarily use it for welding aluminium with TIG. And there is a reason for that, which I'll mention later on. Uh, basically speaking, it's very, very comfortable mask. Uh, the filter on it, the, the actual element, is actually very, very good. And in the off state, is, it is uh, shade 3, so even when you work in dark conditions, it's fairly bright. You can see around very well. And the main reason for, for me to purchase this mask was the um, ability of me using the big respirators. And as you can see, this respirator is fairly large and it fits underneath that mask very easily and most importantly it's very comfortable and it's not restrictive at all to work even in the awkward places. The other thing that's well worth mentioning is that this mask is very very light um, especially compared to other masks that uh, have plastic covers and the plastic casings. Um, what you will see is uh, me working on the roof rack of a uh, van and uh, basically this allows you to see that even in uh, very awkward places when, whenever you're using the mask um, this mask stays on and it uh, doesn't require any additional support or anything like this um, also because the mask is fairly flexible it has a, a plastic part and has a fabric part it allows you to squeeze and uh, turn into places and the uh, positions that uh, not every mask will allow and it protects top of your head from uh, welding sparks or UV radiation the filter on this mask is quite exceptional as well and even when you find yourself in really awkward positions and in the places where you can just see whatever you weld with the corner of your eye the screen stays on and it doesn't look um, goes out of uh, its active phase and because you have this um, screen so close to your eye the viewing area is extremely extremely wide and some people may find it a um, little bit discomfortable because it actually sits on the top of your nose but i find it's very very easy to work with and uh, using it in the way it is as i mentioned uh, already at the beginning of this uh, video um, the welding screen made out of two parts, a plastic part that holds uh, the facilitate the actual filter and there is a fabric part which uh, surrounds everything around and acts as a guard around. Um, the fabric part is very e easily washable and you can wash it in the washing machine fairly easily. Now at this point it's time to speak about bad things about design in this mask and the batteries are biggest pain in the butt simply because they're fitted as you can see them slightly offset and every so often about three four times in the, an hour they will lose contact and the welding screen will stop working um, luckily the solution to solve the problem is very easy and uh, all i tend to do is just uh, knock it on the whatever ever you're working with the right hand side and that seems to cure it instantly and um, obviously you can try to prop something underneath it the batteries uh, to make them work but i find that solution to be simple enough and uh, fairly quick and um, the other thing what i notice is uh, when you work in the uh, in areas with the strange light conditions like metal halide lights sometimes uh, screen can flicker as you just saw on the video and um, that's about it probably the biggest uh, problem that I have with this mask is set of this uh, front lenses as you can see the, on the screen just now the set of 
five lenses cost little over 10% of the cost of the whole screen and I find that quite ridiculous and for that very reason I also do not use this mask for any other uh, type of welding than uh, TIG welding aluminum because um, I don't want much more spotters created and uh, landing on this very very expensive front lens So that's it, everything I have to say about this welding screen. If you find it interesting and you would like to see more videos of this kind, um, join in. Um, there is a subscribe button somewhere. And uh, I'll ask you, I'll need to ask you for a little favor. If you could put a little comment and let me know whether um, this format is interesting to you guys or if you would like to see more videos of that kind.